Obviously, playoff hockey is super intense, and in a series clinching game, it's to another level. The playoff atmosphere in the first round here was, was great. When you get an overtime win in the first game and the crowd gets excited and there's a little buzz around town, I think it's, it's the best time of year for the fans and it's the best time of year for us. Obviously, you hate to see that go in, but I think we have a resilient group and I don't think we wavered at all. I think we were pretty confident. There was no panic on the bench. We just wanted to stick to our game plan and find a way. Gino ended up wrapping that one around and we thought it had gone in and obviously the net came off in the process of it. The refs talked about it, called it no goal on the ice, but they gave us a power play and it was obviously a huge time for our power play. They needed to step up and I think they try to clear it, but I think Gino picks it off in the slot and turns, fires it on net, and Nosik whacks away at it, and, and it finds its way home, which was a huge goal for us, tying it up in the second period there. It was another similar play to their first goal, just a defenseman coming in late with a slap shot. When Nosik, Bertuzzi, and Laredo get out there with Russo, they had a great shift. Bird ends up getting it to the point. Lowe was in a great spot in the slot there. Russo had his head up and put it right on his tape for a shot tip. Like I said, we were confident and, and we knew it was going to come and those guys got it done. You need a goalie to step up and I think Rosie played his best game of the series and, and that's when we needed him to. I think heading into overtime, we, we know they're a good team. We want to make sure that we get out of there with the win. We want to make sure that it doesn't go to Friday and we don't want to give them any momentum. There was a regroup in the neutral zone and Russo drew a guy to him, found me on the wall, I chipped it in. Gino did a great job getting in on their first defenseman, tying him up. I got the puck, I looked to hit Axe in the slot and I think one of their guys got a stick on it. Went back to Reno at the point. I saw that both their defenders had, had gone up to Reno. So there was nobody on me and I made my way to the net. I was calling for the puck and he had his head up, made a great pass right on my tape, right where I needed it, and I um, just tried to redirect it far side on the goalie, and it went in. When the puck went in, obviously, those few seconds there, are, um, it was a memory material for sure. Didn't really know what was going through my mind. I was just pretty psyched for the team heading on to the second round and just enjoying the moment with the guys in the, in the corner there, everyone jumping off the bench, flooding the ice. It's a lot of excitement, a lot of screaming in there, and you know we were all having fun, so it was good. Finishing up round one, it, you know, it gives us a little bit of time now to prepare for round two. We're excited to head into Chicago. Two games on the road to start. We'll be prepped this week. The coaches will give us a lot of information on their team and, and we'll be ready to go.